Tosra Linux may seem like just another retro gaming distribution, but it has a surprising amount of versatility. While it's built to boot into an emulation frontend and play your favorite classic titles, it can do much more than that. The real fun begins when you explore the features that aren't immediately obvious. With just a bit of creativity, you can turn Batasara into something far beyond a game launcher. 6. Turn an arcade cabinet into a jukebox. Add music playback and control with retro flair. Batasara includes Kodi as an optional media center app, providing full access to music playback features alongside your game library. That means you can boot into Batasara, launch Kodi, and immediately start streaming your favorite playlists or playing from a local collection. It doesn't just support MP3s. Kodi is also compatible with internet radio, podcasts, and network shares. This flexibility lets you transform your arcade build into a living room jukebox with minimal setup. If you're using physical controls, it's easy to map arcade buttons to media functions like play, pause, and volume adjustment. That keeps everything hands-on without needing a keyboard or mouse. Add an inexpensive USB sound card and external speakers, and you've got a powerful retro-inspired sound system. It fits nicely in game rooms, garages, or party spaces where people expect fun, not complexity. Some builders go a step further by integrating light effects that sync with the music or adding a small display for album art. Since Batasra boots quickly, you don't need to wait long to get your system up and running. You can switch from game night to music mode in seconds. It's a quirky use case, but one that turns your cabinet into a more versatile entertainment hub. 5. Emulate old digital toys and oddware. Run obscure handhelds and educational devices. Batasra supports a wide range of systems, including several you may not have heard of. Beyond the usual consoles, you'll find obscure platforms like the TigerGame.com, What Era Supervision, and VTech Creati Vision. These aren't systems that defined a generation, but they offer a fascinating look into gaming's past. Trying them out is more about curiosity than nostalgia, and Batasura makes that easy. The games on these platforms often feature unusual mechanics, limited visuals, or unresponsive controls. But that's what makes them interesting. They show what companies were experimenting with before standards became the norm. It's not always a polished experience, but it's a great way to explore the path that gaming took through the decades. Batasura also supports vintage educational consoles, such as the Leapfrog Leapster and V. Smile. These weren't designed to entertain adults, but they still hold a certain retro charm. Whether you're showcasing them for kids, building a complete emulator archive, or just enjoying the novelty, Batasura's support for these systems is unusual and unexpectedly fun. 4. Build a streaming box for retro games. Use Moonlight or Steam Link on vintage hardware. With built-in support for Moonlight and Steam Link, Batasura lets you stream games from a powerful PC to an older device on your network. That means you can turn a Raspberry Pi or an aging laptop into a front-end for AAA titles, despite their limited specs. This works over Wi-Fi, although you'll get the best results with an Ethernet connection. Once set up, you can jump between emulated games and streamed ones through the same user interface. Streaming works well with gamepads, and Batasra handles input mapping cleanly across platforms. Whether you're playing a retro title or something modern from your Steam library, it all feels surprisingly integrated. You get the visual consistency of Batasra's front-end and the performance of your primary PC. It makes older machines relevant again, even when they're too weak to run modern software on their own. This feature is also great for households where a single gaming PC is shared between multiple rooms. Set up Batasra boxes connected to different displays and stream from the central rig as needed. It's not what people expect from a retro gaming OS, but it adds serious value to any Batasra installation. And it all works without needing to install Windows or manage a full desktop environment. 3. Create a dual boot console PC. Combine Batasura with Windows or Linux desktop. Batasura is typically used as a standalone system, booting from a dedicated drive or USB stick. But with a bit of planning, you can install it alongside another OS to create a dual boot setup. 
This turns your PC into a versatile machine that can act like a console when you want to relax and still function as a desktop for productivity or browsing. It's an ideal setup for living rooms or media centers where space is limited. To do this, you'll need to partition your drive and configure a boot manager, such as Grub or REFIND. But Tassera doesn't overwrite existing operating systems, so you retain full access to your files and software. You can also mount shared partitions to use the same ROM library or music collection across both environments. Once configured, switching between OSes is just a reboot away. This hybrid setup is great for users who don't want to dedicate a whole machine to retro gaming. It provides flexibility without compromising performance or usability. You get the instant-on feel of a console without giving up the utility of a desktop. While it's not Batasra's primary use case, it's a powerful and practical option for tinkerers. Two. Repurpose old handhelds and mini PCS. Run Batasra on portable or niche devices. Batasra runs on an impressively wide range of hardware, including devices that were never meant to be gaming machines. Mini PCS, handheld Windows tablets, and even some Android based systems can be reimaged with Batasra. The community has produced customized builds for devices like the GPD Win, the Odroid Go Advance, and older Intel Compute Sticks. These devices become compact and portable retro consoles with just a few tweaks. Some setups involve flashing internal storage, while others boot from microSD cards or USB drives. The process varies depending on the hardware, but the payoff is the same. A small device that instantly boots into a clean gaming interface. For handhelds, that means battery-powered retro games wherever you go. For stick PCs, it's an easy way to turn any TV into a gaming station. These builds are especially rewarding for people who hate wasting old tech. Instead of collecting dust, that underpowered tablet or HDMI dongle becomes a functional, fun system. You can throw it in a backpack, leave it behind a wall-mounted TV, or use it as part of a travel kit. It's not the most conventional use of Batasura, but it's one of the most satisfying. 1. Set up a self-contained arcade shelf. Use Batasura with light guns and mounted displays. Batasura supports light gun emulation out of the box, including devices like the Sindon light gun and Wiimote setups using Dolphin Bar. This opens the door to building a dedicated arcade-style shooter shelf. Mount a monitor vertically or horizontally, attach your light guns, and create a compact cabinet that only runs classic rail shooters. With Batasura managing game lists and display options, Everything feels seamless once it's configured. Setting up light gun games involves a bit of mapping and calibration, but Batasra handles most of it through its intuitive menu system. You can define which games support which input devices, apply bezels, and tweak resolution settings without needing to dig into configuration files. Add a front-end overlay for quick switching, and your shelf becomes an all-in-one arcade experience. What makes this setup so weird is how focused and specific it can be. Some users add foot pedals, recoil feedback, or even build themed shelves around particular franchises. It's not just a novelty, it's fully playable and surprisingly fun. And because Batasra supports vertical games as well, you can rotate your display and expand your arcade experience even further. Batasra thrives when you get experimental. There's a lot more to Batasra than retro emulation. It invites creative use cases that blend old and new tech in interesting ways. Whether you're turning forgotten hardware into gaming rigs or building wild arcade setups, Batasura gives you the tools to make it all happen.